Okay, guys, this is part 18 of TikTok story times that need to be stopped. And I was supposed to be done with this, but somebody sent me one mo. Look at this, guys. 376,000 likes. 4 million views. So you know what to do. Get your tea and get your snacks. Because you already know. This is about to be good. <laughs> if you want to read the story yourself, go over here. Oh, what the fuck? She follows us. Guys, she, fo <laughs> she follows us. Those with me, this girl's name is Lock D the Goat. And listen to this story. I went to a lounge with a close friend of mine. This is... How can <laughs> Why is there a big ass anaconda on her head? Okay, this some snake shit. This is, that's different. She must have took your man or something. I peeped the score on the TV was 111, an angel number. Okay. If anyone here don't know what an angel number is, it's kind of like 111, 333, 444. J. Cole had that shit. You know, it's, it's like um some kind of like spiritual thing. So like basically when you see the numbers, it kind of gives you like confirmation that uh, you are in the right spot. And a lot of people have their favorite numbers th that they will use to, you know, feel better about life, to feel like they know where they are, to feel like they're making the right decision. This one's mine. So it's kind of a funny coincidence. I thought nothing of it and continued to enjoy my night. The reason she's saying that is because sometimes 111 can be like confirmation. Sometimes it can be like confirmation that you're in danger or something's wrong. So like, that's what she's trying to do right now. Seen it again, but this time directly above my friend. Ugh, I mean, I mean, bro, I don't know. Okay. What you trying to say? Ignored it and continued to have fun. <laughs> It's what does she do? You put a snake on her face on every picture. I got it. What does she do? We left the lounge and stopped for gas. Seen one 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 again. At this point, I'm like, okay, what the fuck, Bruh, You got that, guys. Like, now I I don't mind y'all doing the spiritual thing. That's cool. But like, bro, every like car has like three of the same digits. Every store has three of the same. Like the it, the three of the, the three of the same digit thing is a very common thing, bro. And there's four digits here, but you're just gonna ignore the five. Like, is that what we do here? Like, I don't know, bro. But it, that's just me, man. Like. One, 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 intuition. Trust your gut and listen to your heart. So this is kind of a thing. She says, um, so I looked at the meaning of one, one, one and immediately got concerned. But as I said, sometimes it can be confirmation. Sometimes it can be a warning. Then the next day, I got an alert on my credit card. Hey there, your $307 purchase at Progressive Insurance on January 29th was declined. So what does that mean? Then another one, your $100 purchase at DC government payment declined. This one stated her exact apartment name, oh, letting, letting me know right away it was her. Your $3,093 purchase? Whoa! At her exact apartment name? I would send it to her and see what she say, bro. Like, let's just see what she says. Oh, she sent her the screenshots. It says, I sent her the screenshots. She says, what's that? Bitch, <laughs> bitch, you know, you know. <laughs> she said... Who has your card or someone in your account? I wish I could see all the text because she said something blue right there. <laughs> she said, who did it? Who did it? <laughs> it, couldn't, it could possibly not be her, but I'm, mm, I'm not really. Mm. She said, it's whoever's trying to pay your rent and your car insurance. She said, my mama paid my rent and I don't have progressive on my car. Hmm. I have State Farm. And my mama has PNC like me. So who's in your account? <laughs> hmm. And I hope you ain't trying to say me because that's a dead ass mission. We got to give her some thought here, girl. Like <laughs> you went straight to the defensive route. If she really didn't do it, a person should be like shocked. They should be like, oh, my God. No, girl. Like, I can't believe this happened. I'm so sad that it looks like me, but I would never do this to you. She's not even doing none of that. She went straight to the, if you think it's me, fuck you. If you think I'm a, duh, 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 that's a, that's a like, gaslighting, like start trying to reverse the energy type shit. So it's just, she looks like she did it, but it's like, it's at your apartment. 
So it's either one, you somehow like stole my credit card information and used it to pay your rent and your progressive bill or your whatever your car insurance is. Or two, you dropped your wallet somewhere in the, the apartment complex and someone else got it and they tried to pay their uh, rent. And they magically got it back in your purse before you realized it. Let's be fucking for real. The quickest way to solve this would be to just go to the apartment complex's office and just say, hey, someone tried to rent my card. Who was it? Because I don't even know your card information. Hmm. She moved my purse from by me into her closet while I was asleep. Told me it was so nobody would go in it. So where was your purse at? If it wasn't in the closet or by your bag, who was in your stuff while everyone was asleep? Regardless, if it was somebody else in the house while y'all was all sleeping, right? Why did they choose to pay your rent? Do, does, is there anyone else that lives there? I doubt it. That's why she's assuming it's you. You the only person I know living at that apartment and your car insurance was that exact amount written on your dry erase board. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and just this morning, you was on the phone with people trying to pay your rent. Little did I know you were using my car. And two, I don't have no damn progressive, has no car insurance. Y'all be fucking me up when I try to read this, bro. Like, I be getting stressed. Like, I need a blunt. Or a shot of Cosmigos. I have State Farm for my car insurance. And what the fuck is DC Gov? True, I was wondering about that too. My State Farm insurance was 301. That doesn't mean I have progressive. But why is there a $6 difference on this failed attempt? She said, that's wild. How are you going to do your friend like that after I just cried on your shoulder about bitches do me dirty? You told me you can't be nice to everybody and you ain't say nothing but a word. Oh, uh, she is just she feels so betrayed right now. Like personally, I'm one of those people that don't hold judgment on you unless I have definite proof. But this is a spiritual year, y'all. So now I'm trusting my gut. So if like my gut, my spirit says like not to fuck with you, I'm not fucking with you just to protect my shit. That's just how it is this year. She said, if I had progressive, I would have said I have progressive. I have State Farm for my car insurance. And two, don't mean you know me living at Franklin Park doesn't mean people can't hack your account. She said, you talking about me taking your card. I clearly have my own wallet and own money and people to give me money. Do you? Damn. She said, it don't mean you heard me on the phone about my rent. Doesn't mean I'm using your account. I guess she could have misheard you. For one, my mother helps me with my rent and she has PNC bank like me. Two, you're comparing me to other bitches. You tripping. <laughs> Three, before you start making assumptions and blaming someone, call your bank. Four, since I moved over here, my mother helps me with my rent. Five, I don't need to use your bank information to pay anything because... I have my own bank and my own cars to do so. So her mother pays her rent. Six, plenty of motherfuckers live around me in my apartment complex. So again, before you assume someone and accuse someone, ask, yeah, you big tripping. So you're, how come you didn't start this whole conversation off with, oh damn, it might be someone that was sleeping over that day. You didn't do that. You just went straight to the defense mode. Like that's why it's fucking weird. Like if, you, if, if, if you're saying plenty of people lived around you that lived in your apartment complex, was it someone that slept over? You don't think it was? There's nothing more for me to say other than it sucks that things have to end like this. I looked at you as my dog. I guess you didn't value our friendship as much. I wish you the best still. It was fun while it lasted. Do great and make better, brighter decisions in your future connections. Peace and blessings. This is, this is how you guys do it, y'all. This... This is how you do it, because you cannot change motherfuckers, okay? But you can change your surroundings, and she moved the fuck around, in peace, for real. I don't got time to be hating a motherfucker. She said, I contacted her mother as a friend, still shake my head. You called, you hit her mother up? Oh, no. Hey, miss, your daughter just used my car to try and pay her rent and car insurance and a number of other bills, although she just stole from me, and I'm very hurt behind it. I still wouldn't want her in a messed up predicament, so I'm letting you know of the situation so that she could get the help that she needs before she results to further measures.
Wow. Girl bot. <laughs> She's mad as hell. She said, you called my mother? Yeah, you can go. Got people calling my phone when you knew damn well it was two other people in this damn house. But did they but did they live in your fucking apartment complex? It's crazy how you was on your phone all these times you was here and all of a sudden Anaya did it. You and my parents are blocked. Why would your parents get blocked? They didn't take your side. Why didn't they take your side? They took your friend's side. She said there's no need to text back. That would mean that her mom called her and said, girl, why did you steal her card? Why do you keep doing this? That's the only thing that makes sense, bro. Otherwise, if, if your mom like didn't think you were that type, she would say, hey, your friend thinks you did this, bro. But like, you know, I know you're my daughter. You wouldn't do that. That doesn't equate to a block button. That means that you blocked her because she got mad at you for doing something that you've always been doing. That's how I, that's how my brain's taking it, guys. This girl said, you better than me. I would have pressed charges. How the fuck are you going to press charges if none of the, nothing happened? None of the charges actually went through. We you, girl, I'm sorry. This girl says, what the fuck? We would have had to fight about this. She said, Lamayo, her rep on the line. She would have definitely tear me a new one. I'm a rag doll compared to her. She posted a video, y'all. Trust me. I had that thought. First thing I wanted to do was fight, honey. But look at this. Oh, hell no. Nah. Baby, look. She's times three of you. Mm. You would have got fucked up. Mm. <laughs> Choose a different day. This shit ain't even go through. I ain't even much. It's just the audacity, bitch. But thank you. You thought I had that much, you know what I'm saying, money? But shit, you ain't finna whoop my ass about you stealing my shit. Choose a different day. That's automatically ass whooping. Some people like to use that phrase, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that's true. And they and then they think they got the quickness on them because, you know, they're smaller. But, like, let a big person grab you, one grapple, one f one swing on you, you are KO'd. It only takes one hit from them. You got to, like, unbuck multiple fucking hits to the head to even get a knockdown. Fuck no. <laughs> the way she wasn't immediately mad and just went to explaining lol. It was definitely her. No, nah, it's not. You don't want her to be immediately mad. The correct response would have been like feeling bad or sad that her friend got hurt and that her friend believes it was her. She, if you get mad immediately, that's kind of really defensive. Why are you getting mad? That's weird. But some people say, well, it makes sense that I would get mad because you're 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 looking at me like a thief and I'm not a thief and you're judging my character. I get that. But that's like a some people use that as like a gaslighting technique to flip that. The fact that her main argument was, I don't have progressive, instead of, I would never do that. Exactly. That shit's dumb. Once they go into over-explaining, they're guilty. For real. I forgot I wrote in this, and I said, here we go. And she said, I just posted her response. Cap! You have a response? Guys, I keep looking for the video. She keeps saying that TikTok is taking it down for community guidelines or whatever the fuck. I DM'd her for the clip. If she answers, holy fuck. About to be delicious. We'll come back to this. What did the mama say? She responded. She said, oh my God, Monique, where are you? Please, please, it's so sad to say this about my daughter, but please just get away from her. <gasps> the mama's telling you to get away from her? What does she know? Do you need me to come get you? Wow. I'm definitely removing myself and I'm home now. Thank you for offering. She said, I'm so sorry. I'm so disappointed and hurt behind this was not raised like this do you have your card in possession this is so messed up the mom knows her daughter is like this or if, unless i'm reading it wrong guys and you can correct me but it seems like the mom knows what kind of time her daughter is on also another response the mom would have had was why would my daughter steal money from you to pay her rent when i've been paying it for her see that it's just all weird she didn't even defend her and say, my daughter would never do that or this, that, and the, she just, it just went straight to the, just get away from her, bro. Ugh. Then Anaya's gonna say, you and my parents are blocked. <laughs> what the fuck? You blocked the person paying your rent? Shit's not adding up. So after this went viral, um, earlier she said that her friend made a response to this TikTok. Well, ex-best friend. I was hoping for a video, but it was two posts with um, text on it. Now, I normally don't bring this on my business page, but bitch, if you want to fight, you know where I live at and the door number. And the bitch know what I'm talking <laughs> about. 
I can I can get you touched literally so stop playing with me I was thinking that she was gonna like say her side or say like she's a liar or you know but all she's saying is I'm just gonna fight like I don't know hmm can't do shit with me I can literally flick you so stop playing with me you internet thug but will not pull up bro you what is she's pulling up to a fucking let me let me just your time's three your size you got you can't do that you want to bump we can bump i don't gotta cry my mama baby so again you knew my door number and my address so i'll be the fuck waiting and you tell me who a pussy and who is not she, she never said you was scared. She just said you was just a, not a good friend. Remember that. She said, peace, love, I'm, and, and we're going to have to end this, fr this friendship on peaceful terms. Damn, she didn't even try to defend herself. She just said, I'm going to fight you. That's it. I'm over this, y'all. What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 750,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you, but not more than me When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regret You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses And know when it's time for me to walk away So I can see we wanted different things All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch it's breaking my heart cause I know that it's one that you dig You really thought I would lay up in it But I let you go cause I know that I tried